guys! So, you may have noticed I missed a few videos. I promise I'll be putting those up, don't you worry. Um, but I just got back from a trip up north. It was really great to get away from the city for a little bit to get to spend some time in nature. And I got to hang out with the cutest the little girl for the entire weekend. We are now best friends. So let's talk about kids today. I got to hang out with the most adorable little four-year-old. And let me tell you, kids are awesome. And they're actually a really great example of what the Alexander Technique can do for us. Because it's very rare that you see a kid who has bad posture or who has pain when they're moving or performing an act or doing anything in their life. And a lot of that is because they haven't developed any bad habits yet. So kids often have really fantastic use. If you ever see like a toddler squat to pick something up or um, held a baby when they're trying to reach for something or grab at something and look at something, you can just feel how connected they are to their bodies and how easily they're able to um, sort of employ all of themselves in accomplishing a task or, or looking to do something. Now, as we grow and develop, a lot of us sort of forget about this connectivity, right? We develop these bad habits and um, one of the best ways to sort of combat this is to look at movement through a developmental lens. So FM Alexander had an admirer and a friend and a studier of his work in Raymond Dart. And Raymond Dart developed um, a procedure we call the Dart Procedure that looks at developmental movement. Dart was born in Australia. He was a world-renowned anthropologist, a professor of anatomy, and a studier of the Alexander Technique. And in 1926, he discovered the fossil of the Taum child in South Africa, and the, the crystallization that happened with the skull in the brain. He discovered that um, humans had developed the habituation of uprightness long before any other skills of sort of cognition and speech and communication. So in an effort to see more and to see better, to have the um, visual advantage, um, humans moved from being quadrupedal, being on four legs, to being bipedal and being upright because that gave them an evolutionary advantage with sight. Dart's discoveries were regarded as fairly controversial until 1953. So during this time, Dart and his wife became parents to a brain damaged child who had some difficulties in standing upright and walking. And so he developed a technique that sort of walked through these probable evolutionary steps in order to help his child. So it sort of mimicked this evolution of man from being quadrupedal to being bipedal. And what his procedure does is really examine the differences in balance, in um, distribution of weight through gravity, and in um, breath, and all of these sort of things as we move through this sort of perceived evolutionary process from going from like a fetal position to sort of being on our bellies to going to um, four legs being quadrupedal and then moving ourselves up to the uprightness that we now enjoy um, and then sort of back down through those phases and what Dart did when he was sort of um, discovering and sort of making this procedure of his to help his child was that he spent a lot of time exploring these positions and he would spend probably like 15 to 20 minutes is what I had seen um, in these positions and sort of noting what changes and things that he felt in himself during these sort of processes from um, this fetal position to our uprightness that we have today. Dart had an experience with FM Alexander 
and then his whole family actually also took Alexander Technique lessons as well and two teachers who I believe are in the Illinois area and actually trained one of my teachers um, are Joan and Alex Murray and they took this DART procedure and really sort of looked at it through the lens of the Alexander Technique like DART had when he was developing it and they used it in a way to have their students, the students of the Alexander Technique, the people in their training course, be able to understand Alexander's principles a little bit differently through the, the use of this procedure. I will also have you know that it was during studying this procedure, this DART procedure, in college when I took my very first Alexander Technique lesson that I found myself free from the chronic back pain that I had suffered um, throughout my high school and early college years. So tune in on Sunday because we will start to um, work through this DART procedure in activity. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions or comments or things that you'd like me to talk about, uh, feel free to shoot me a message or post a comment. I am happy to help.